minority-owned businesses have been the hardest hit uh, in this COVID-19 economic slowdown. Uh, do you agree with the assessment that direct assistance, tailored assistance for those in similarly situated businesses would have a wide rippling benefit to the economy? I, I, I do, Senator, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I would say despite the, the success of Project Warp Speed and the fact that we will have vaccines distributed in large mass, the problem is now, as you said, these small businesses can't wait two or three months. So uh, I, I would urge Congress, again, to reallocate unused money and more money to PPP, do a set-aside as we did last time, particularly for the underserved areas. I know that you and Senator Warner and others have worked on a possibility of $10 billion to be invested into CDFIs, which could lend $100 billion into un underserved communities. So I, I think there's a lot that can be done and should be done very quickly. Uh, thank you, Secretary Mnuchin. I, I would say in addition to what we've already done and what we can do, and it, what, uh, if I'm correct, Secretary Mnuchin, what you're referring to is that the Paycheck Protection Program still has unused resources sitting there, over $100 billion that could be available for small businesses right now if Congress would get their act together, our act together, and make those funds available to the market. That could have a significant positive impact on the employees of these small businesses who today simply cannot find a way forward. Uh, with my last few seconds, I think another opportunity that we have before us is to look at the Paycheck Protection Program forgiveness of making it simple. Uh, and it may take congressional action for us to simplify the process. Uh, do you see any uh, ability in, from the administration's perspective to streamline and to simplify the process for banks and therefore making it easier for small businesses to find uh, a little calm and a little comfort in knowing that their small business loan that was to be a grant is actually going to become a grant? Uh, I'll be quite brief in, in responding, but I would say we've created three separate forms. So we've done everything we can on administrative action, including a separate form for 50,000 and less. But I would urge Congress to make changes to the legislation to allow for simpler. And uh, again, I would urge Congress to al reallocate the $140 billion that's sitting there that can have an enormous impact for small businesses in the PPP immediately. Thank you. Uh Secretary, and that can be done today. We can do that today if we decide to do so. I'm supportive of that concept. Thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.